。OK， 啊、呃，所以大概大家都有一点印象，就是这个 Electric Field， 呃，在它的 Curve of 跟这个 Divergence 上头定义上头的一些直接的结果 ，Right？ Number one, curve of E give you the、uh, definition of the electric field in terms of the energy. Okay, it's a conservative force. And number two, if you use divergence of E、uh, equal to charge divided by some proportional factor, you can calculate the electric field、um, nearby a charge. And let's continue to look the、um, definition of curve of E. Well, electric field is irrotational, but I just told you that uh, this um, now identity. If you have a curve of something equal to zero, then you can write this field to be the gradient of a scalar. Okay, you can write this into a gradient of a scalar because of this now identity. Okay. And there's a physical meaning of this V. Okay,、uh, according to this the mathematical expression, then、uh, this electric field. Now, you can define it to be positive or、uh, negative gradient of some scalar、uh, scalar quantity. 啊，不要忘了是我们在电机系里头，我们学的是工程跟物理。Whatever definition in mathematics has to have a physical meaning. Well, 数学上告诉我们说这个 electric field 可以写成这个样子 ，but we have to choose the right sign to give you the right physical meaning. Okay. 所以呢，我们我们来我们来这个算一下这个 V 是什么东西。V can be written into an integration of dV. Okay.、Um, the in space there could be a point one and point two. 我们把它写这个，比如说 v two one is equal to v two minus v one, and v one is the、uh, this v at point one, p one and p two. 我们可以把它写成这个样子。Right, 我我们在设法了解这个 v 是什么东西。Well, mathematically, you can you can define this v, uh, through this, uh, irrotational property of electric field. But we want to find out what v is. 我们在数学式子写出来的，但是 v 是什么东西，我们试着去理解它一下。从这个理解上头 ，we can determine if we want to define electric field to positive. Gradient of v or negative gradient of v. Okay, so let's try this. Okay. Ah,、uh, 这个你可以继续写 p1, p2, dv. Ah,、uh, dv 你可以写成 if you take a a derivative of v with respect to some length, then you can write into this ah、uh, uh, expression. By using the chain rule, right? 但是这个呢，你又知道 ，this is gradient of v dot with a l. This is the directional derivative of v with respect to some distance. And you can first calculate the derivative of v with respect to the surface normal of the equipotential surface, and then project it along l direction. 你如果还记得的话 ，right? You can first calculate this and project it onto this direction. Okay. So、uh, you can convert this into、uh, gradient v a l、uh, multiplied with the differential length. Basically, you are calculating this. Okay, no problem, right? And then we said that the the electric field is equal to this quantity. So this is going to be equal to the integration of p1 to p2 
and this is could be positive, could be negative electric field. Dot with DL. No problem. Well, you recognize that, that this is um, energy, right? Force divided by charge, a test charge, and that was DL. This is the work done by the field on a unit positive charge. Okay. How? Now we this. So the CN is what? Um, if you have a charge right at this location, right? Let's call it Q, and then you move. Um, this is a frequency symmetric problem. Then you move a charge somewhere at an infinite to this location, and this location. Um, as a charge of Q, and then the distance from this point to this point is R. Let's call it Q. Let's call it Q. Let's Q plus. And this is uh, Q2 plus. Let's call it Q2 plus. If you call it Q2 plus, 你要做工还是得到工? Come on, you know it, right? If I bring a positive charge to this location, uh, nearby a positive charge, 你要做工吗? 还是会拿到工? 正电荷它是互相吸引还排斥? 排斥, right? 所以你要拿到这里来,你要不要做工? 你要做工哦。Okay, so let's try to do this calculation. The electric field, uh, the electric field generated by this positive charge is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r q1 plus. And then this is along ar direction. And then let's do a calculation. Uh, for taking, uh, for energy required to take Q2 plus to this location, and the result has to be positive. Bishi Zhengde, because you are doing work. Okay, let's calculate. You put it in, then I will bring it up to the top to calculate. Let's calculate. Okay. Um, 你所需要做的功會是等於你整個要乘上q 2 plus right 所以總共做的功是 q 2 plus 然後呢 the p1 is a point from infinite to somewhere at this location 哇我這個12有點倒過來 那我再重新重新定義一下一是你第一個位置二是你第二個位置所以 let's call this 第一個位置其實你第二個位置在這裡 不變所以你這是 P2 這是 P1 Okay, one is associated with your first location, two is associated with your second location, but this is Q, I know how to do it. Let's do this, Q, and as Q prime. Okay, so let's do it, Q prime, the second charge. So we integrate from this location to this location, from infinite to a location where you have R, 
And then we do not know yet which sign we want to pick. We just write it down, and we have the expression for the electric field. Right, so just write it down for pi epsilon naught. R Q plus. And then we have to integrate dl. dl is not something to do with the direction of the motion of the charge. It's defined, it's predefined in chapter 2 of your textbook. dl 呢, 并不是, 它有个向量并不代表说, 哎, 我, 我, 我往哪个地方移, no. DL is defined in your textbook already. Okay, DL. DL was defined in your textbook. 不是你可以随便写的. Okay, for this case, your DL is DR. AR. Well, you 注意到在这个计算里头呢, you bring a charge from uh, infinite to some location. Uh, this DL is not going to give you a minus R here. No. Okay. DL was defined in your textbook, and you cannot change it. 这是大家规定好的这个游戏规则 dr在这里就是这样子表示 If you move it along our direction OK So uh, right here Right here you have um, dl You have dr, what, what, yeah, so you put dr right here, 然后呢,这里有一个er, that was er, 这个等于给你e, yeah, 一步一步算下来没有问题, right, you know it quite clear, so this integration, One over R square, integrate over R, give you a minus sign. So you have to flip the sign because of this integration. And then you have Q plus prime, Q plus 4 pi epsilon naught R in your answer. 然后我们刚刚规定说，哎，你这个实验的话，你是要做功过来的。So you have to pick up this sign to be correct. 这里呢，事实上有乘上一个 Q prime plus. OK，我们这个实验呢，你刚刚都同意了要做功，So you have to pick up this sign to be correct. Ah, this sign comes from. This sign, this comes from this sign. So we have a final answer. This electric field has to be defined to be minus gradient of V. OK. So this is how you argue from a physical point of view to make your uh, mathematical expression correct for physical applications. Even though this plus sign will also give this, uh, the correct uh, mathematical expression, but we have to abandon this plus sign and choose this minus sign for your definition of electric field. Okay, 了解吗? 所以这是一个任何一个这个式子从数学里头产生出来之后, you have to check it against the physical meaning of it. And the key is that uh, this DL, this DL was defined in the last chapter, and it's nothing to do with the motion, uh, moving direction of the ch of the test charge. Okay, DL 并不是呢，它的方向并不是指你你移动这个电荷移动的方向，不是。
它是定义在这个 x y z coordinate system 或者是 r theta phi 或 r r phi z coordinate system 里头已经 well defined 它的方向了，你不能随便改它。Okay, that's why uh uh you can establish a minus sign in in this expression. Okay. Well, the same thing, you can do a different experiment. Try a negative charge. Move, uh, if you try to move a negative charge to a negative charge, then you have minus, uh, double minus sign here, give you another positive sign. You get the same answer for your definition of V. And uh, now, uh, from a pure mathematical expression, you understand that the V is, in fact, the, the work done by you when moving a unit positive charge to somewhere uh, nearby another charge. 这是你, uh, 这个V, 现在有一个很清楚的物理意义, 这个物理就是你必须花多少的能量移动一个单位正电荷到从一点到另外一点所花的能量单位正电荷那这个呢叫做 Okay, so V has a very clear physical meaning now through this definition. And don't forget this minus sign. Okay, good. So now for electric charge at, uh, at origin, the electric potential, V now is called electric potential, and R is equal to this. Okay. From this expression, let's reorganize it. Then we have... Uh, V, uh, if we move the charge from 2 to 1, from infinity to a uh, 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 from, from original location, this is infinite. Okay, 1 is at infinite. Then your V, let's call it just V2, because now you take infinite as a reference point. Your V2 now is equal to, I have to choose a, po a positive sign. So I have Q uh, plus 4 pi epsilon r. 这个呢就是我们所谓的 electric potential. And physically, it means that uh, uh, this is the work you have to do by taking a charge from infinite to a location where the distance is r from the charge Q plus. 也就是简单的说就是这 Q plus 这个电荷在这个地方的产生的电位 electric potential. Okay. So the electric potential associated with this charge at R is equal to this expression. And physically it means that the, that is the Required work you have to do by taking a unit positive charge from infinite to this location. So, so, uh, so, this is the definition of 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 so don't forget that the, uh, you have a mechanical uh, description and also you have a physical description for this electric potential. Okay? So, so uh, if there's a charge Q in space, then the electric potential at R is given by this expression. And don't forget the physical meaning of it. Okay? Now, uh, if this charge is not at the origin. Now, if the charge is at some location here, but not at the origin, then you understand that uh, you are going to draw a circle about this point. Okay, and the radius of this circle is equal to the magnitude of this vector uh, uh, minus the magnitude uh, the the. Uh, 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 the, the, the R is equal to, this vector is going to be equal to the, the vector, this vector, uh, minus uh, uh, R prime, this vector. 
right? 这个 vector 减掉这个 vector 等于这个 vector. Therefore, you put r minus r prime underneath of this expression. So this is understood to you. 没有问题。好，这里头有一个重要的这个呃，大家的约定。If you use a vector to describe a source, a source point, charge is 一个源，是一个 source point. We always put prime to this vector. So next time, when you uh, see a prime in your expression, this means that this is a vector, uh, or this is a variable associated with a source. 它不见得永远都是一个 vector. 它有可能就是一个位置 For example, if you want to describe the location or the distribution of some charge in space, you uh, you also create a uh, coordinate system with prime to describe it. Okay. So, in this statement, uh, 你要记得很牢。下回你看到一个 prime 的时候 ，you know that this is uh, associated with the source. Okay. Um, the same thing. If I want to describe the electric field, well, I can do a minus gradient of this electric potential to get my electric field. And same thing, if this charge is not at the origin, then I have to write my electric field uh, given by this expression. So everything is referenced to the source. Okay, the unit vector is also referenced to the source. So you have to get used to this kind of vector uh, uh, expression. Mei wen ti, right? 好，如果说在空间里头有很多的点电荷，这个静电学基本上是线性的科学，你可以做 vector superposition。So for many point charge in space, then you just do a summation for this scalar. Well, now you understand why uh, one major reason to write uh, electric potential because you, uh, electric potential is a scalar, so you can just do a summation easily. Okay, just do a summation for all the point charge in space with different charges at different location of I. And then for the electric field, the story is a little bit different because this is a, uh, this is a vector. Okay, uh, but you can still do a superposition for all the vectors with I uh, at the location where your, your point charge is. 没有问题 ，right？ 很简单，从一个点电荷扩张到很多的点电荷，你把它做一个 vector sum for electric field， or for scalar or scalar sum for electric potential， just add them all together， but don't forget the physical meaning of it。This is sort of mathematical expression， there's a mechanical、uh, description for it， and then you have to remember the physical meaning of it。OK？ 这代表说这个电荷，比如说这个式子代表说。呃，这个空间里头很多的点电荷，那从无限远的地方带一个单位正电荷过来，所要做的功这么大。OK， any question？ Good。上课的上到现在这个一个半小时，我可以看到有些同学，我在上课的时候其实一直都听得进去，呀，会不断的点头，我就知道你有。你有了了解到 ，OK， 等你这个累到一个程度，不想听课的时候，我们会有第二阶段，就是让你做一个小考，这时候你又醒过来。All right, so、uh, this is electric potential and electric field. Uh, for many point, for many point charge in space, you do a summation. This is a linear superposition. Uh, very important application is electric dipole. 这个 electric dipole 是什么呢？嗯，呃，在呃，我、uh, well, in the real world， 呃、uh, ，in in nature 的的呃 ，you're living in the, in the world with new with neutral charges， 呃 ，in 呃 ，in neutral world， 呃、uh, ，这个世界是个电中性的。呃、uh, ，if it's not neutral， then 呃、uh, ，you're going to pull by a lot of forces， and you'll feel very uncomfortable， right？ 
So uh, in the neutral world, uh, you have, but still you have a lot of microscopic charges. But uh, uh, basically, uh, 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 most materials nearby you are neutral. So this means that uh, if you have a minus charge somewhere, you always have a positive charge some, uh, some, uh, somewhere else to compensate the total charge. But there's a distance separate uh, them uh, 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 with, a, say, a distance of d, a very short distance. OK, this is a constant. But when you see a minor charge somewhere, you're going to see a positive charge nearby separated with the distance of d. And these two charges are equal in magnitude. And we're interested in knowing the electric field far away from this so-called dipole. This kind of construction is called dipole. 两个, 这个电荷, 一样大小, 但是呢, okay. So uh, uh, by definition, this is uh, uh, this assumption in this kind of construction, that is R is much, much larger than D. Um, for example, in this uh, uh, table, you have positive charge and negative charge. They have a positive charge in the middle. But for me, if I'm so far this R is much, much larger than D. So I'm interested in knowing how this electric field is going to affect me from far away. OK. 尤其是当这个, um, dipole呢, 开始动的时候, 这个, 它影响到我的这个电场呢, 不是量不到, 不是不会影响得到, 譬如说, 你把这个光打到这个上头来, 这光里头有电场, 它事实上在拉动这里头的电荷, 正负电荷, 然后重新辐射到你的眼睛里头来, 这个小的 dipole basically is a very small antenna doing radiation to you. 所以呢,不要小看这么一个小的 dipole, 你眼睛能够看到这个上头的字, 这个屏幕上头的一些现象的话, 基本上都是 radiation of those small dipoles. So we have to understand the electric field from this dipole. OK? So, uh, uh, so there's a, there's a uh, approximation in this problem that is R much much larger than D. So in the